Hi guys, Alec Pierce, Vintage Scuba, and uh, I hear, I'm here to talk today about a, a dear, dear friend of, uh, of all of us, actually. Uh, over the years at my uh, Sea Hunt, uh, various Sea Hunt uh, uh, displays and travels and scuba diving as well, and various travels around the world, I've met some wonderful people. All, almost all, all the divers I've met around the world are wonderful. I've met some famous people. Yes, some very famous people. They won't bother going into names, but you would recognize a lot of the names. And, uh, and uh, it's, it's been a, a real privilege for me, and my, my dear wife Diana, too, she's been with me most of the times, to meet these people and to, and to share stories about scuba diving and share stories about their life and, and, uh, and to become friends. We become friends with these people. We have friends in England, Scotland, Ireland, Germany, Australia, South America, Mexico, lots. The United States, many, many friends throughout the United States. We've dived everywhere around the world. About, um, I'm going to guess it about 2005, which would be uh, 15, 16, 17 years ago, uh, Diane and I were invited to the International Legends of Diving uh, event held in Nassau in the Bahamas, at Freeport in the Bahamas. And uh, down we went, and there were about 15 or 16 people <coughs> who were, <coughs> pardon me, invited to that event. And some of them were quite famous. Uh, unfortunately, and many of them are, are no longer with us because mo most of the famous people that are diving are old, not like me. I'm only 75. Uh, anyway, uh, and so it was a great it was a great event. We're there for a weekend. I did a whole lot of a lot of chat about my sea hunt uh, collection. Showed a lot of it off. Met other people who were famous photographers and and the dive store owners and inventors and uh, and so on. It was just a wonderful, wonderful event. And in that uh, during that event, uh, we met a, a little old lady. I don't think that's I don't think that's a derogatory term at all because she was little. Oh. Like this, <laughs> and she was old. Yeah, she's in her 80s at least. You know, which to me at that time I was 60 or something. Uh, is old, and she was full of life. I couldn't believe it. She's so funny to watch and to listen to. She and Diana, in particular, became really close friends. They laughed and giggled and talked about things, and so much so that um, uh, that evening, actually, uh, this lady, her name is Dottie, Dottie Fraser. Uh, invited Diana to come up to her room in the uh, resort where we were staying. Now she did that for a couple of reasons. First of all, to carry on their chats. But also, uh, Dottie Fraser is old, was old, and she'd never traveled on her own anywhere. She'd always had somebody with her as a, a sort of companion, if you like. And she uh, liked Diana, and uh, not surprising. And uh, she invited Diana up to her room to spend some time with her make her feel more comfortable. And Diana did that. And apparently when Diana came back a little later, she shook her head. I said, I don't believe that woman. The things that she has done. Everything. You name it. She's done it. Absolutely true. And uh, because Dottie Fraser, very, very fortunately, uh, uh, had kept a photographic record. Unfortunately, an awful lot of the uh, fantastic things that happened in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and so on, in scuba diving in particular, were not recorded. No photographs, certainly no video. Uh, but Dottie had kept a lot of photographs, and she had several albums full of the exciting things that she had done in her life. She and Diana had uh, really enjoyed it, and Diana in particular was just so impressed by this lady. And uh, we got to be good friends, and uh, make a long story short, uh, Diane and I, uh, we, we go to California pretty regularly, usually once a year, sometimes twice a year visit our friends there. We have other good friends in California. And we, after that uh, time in Bahamas, we would invariably stop and visit Dottie Fraser. She lives in Long Beach. Lived in Long Beach in the same house since the 30s. She bought her house and her motorcycle at the same time. Yeah, her big Hardy Davidson. Uh, and she uh, rode a motorcycle up until she was 90. Uh, uh, anyway, another story. I have so many stories. So we would go and visit Dottie at her lovely little house there in Long Beach. And fantastic. I mean, she was full of life. She had all kinds of diving artifacts around there, but that's not all. Uh, Dottie used to, own a, used to own a pool hall. Yeah, a little lady used to own a pool hall. <laughs> and uh, I mean, she has a real, a real house. You go into the house and there's a, there's a living room. and Most living rooms are dominated by the television set and the couch. Dottie's living room is dominated and almost filled by the pool table. <laughs> she has a pool table in the living room. And I tell you, you can't go and visit Dottie Fraser for very long before you're playing pool. And uh, get ready for it, guys. 90 years old, she's going to rack you up good. 
I play pool pretty well, but no, not a whole. And, uh, and the rest of the house was fantastic as well. We had our own room. Well, Dottie used to call it our own room. She would say, when are you coming down? I got your room all ready for you. And uh, lovely kitchen. She cooked an awful lot. She cooked her own vegetables because she had a garden out back. And she, she, she grew everything. She had orange trees and apricot trees. And but these are, I, I come through here and pull on it a little bit. And if it doesn't come off, it's not ready. Not ready. Yeah. Wow. But I just picked five of them, and what you ate just in the house? Yeah. That, that is one that I that I did this morning. I came wow. out and did it. And uh, all kinds of and vegetables, vegetables that we can't grow here in Canada, in Ontario. Oh, uh, a big, big garden that she took care of, everything. And a big garage at the back where she did a lot of her work, kept her motorcycles and so on. I remember we were down there one time, <clears throat> and she was in her 90s at that time. And we walked out to the back to see her garden. She always wanted to show off her garden. And, and, uh, and uh, the squirrel, or she had a, a pet squirrel that came out of the bushes and ran up my leg. <laughs> oh, uh, it was going nice. She says, oh, Johnny says, oh, it's okay. He just wants a peanut. And, and uh, just, just a crazy lady. But we were there, and as I'm walking back, I see that this two-story garage has got a ladder up against it like this. I said, oh my gosh, Daddy, is somebody painting your garage? She said, yeah, me. I'm painting the garage. There's a long extension ladder on this. Crazy, crazy lady. Just so much fun and so full of life. And anyway, uh, certainly in diving, she was a true legend. And I made my first rubber suit here and somebody saw it and the next thing I knew I get a call from the Navy saying that they want to try one so I come back and I made another one and uh, of their measurements you know and then they sent the whole divers the whole uh, undersea what do they call them yeah UDT the DVDs or yeah. seals or marines yeah. or something yeah yeah they sent all the guys over and I measured about 30 of them that must have been a fun day for you yeah it was it wasn't for a lot of those guys they were said I said I gotta take the crotch and ankle uh, measurement and he said, oh, no, you're not going to get that from, from me. Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> At the event in the Bahamas, uh, the people that were there received a very unique. When I say unique, I mean unique. There only are those people, those 12, 15, 16 people that received that International Legends of Diving Award. I believe you've seen it. I'll show you a picture of it here, Kevin will. And she was one of those people. Very unique. She started as a commercial diver yeah, when she was in her 20s or 30s. And she was diving with her dad off Catalina. I, pictures of, of Dottie with great big lobsters and all kinds of stuff. Kevin will share some of these with you. As I mentioned, she owned a pool hall. She had a dive store. She had a wetsuit factory, making wetsuits, penguin wetsuits. Uh, she had a bar. She owned a bar, owned and operated a bar. And on and that's just crazy, crazy stuff. Anyway, I mention that because, uh, and, and we, I think we had an interview with Dottie a short while ago, and the interview was excellent. Uh, Kevin will put a link on it there. And that interview with Dottie was <laughs> so much fun, uh, sitting in her living room, and, uh, and uh, has received a lot of comments. If you've not seen that, go and see that. Anyway, the reason for this particular video is that Dottie, just, a very, just slightly shy of her 100th birthday, is gone now. And... Um, It was very emotional for us. Uh, first of all, uh, this being 2022, we have not been able to travel to California for a couple of years. We speak to Dottie frequently. As a matter of fact, uh, just about two weeks before she passed on, she called me out of the blue, middle of the morning. Hey, Alec, how you doing? It's Dottie. And we chatted for five minutes. She was so full of life, looking forward to seeing us coming down maybe late this year, next year. And, and, then, and then she was gone. So many friends, children, Grandchildren, great grandchildren, diving, uh, diving uh, uh, buddies all over the world. Just a wonderful, wonderful lady. I think what you should do is is go to that uh, interview that I did with Dottie a little while ago, and you'll you'll get to meet her because uh, it's a video, and you'll get to meet her, see what she's like, and hear some of the stories. And I think just after a few minutes, as you watch her and listen to her, you'll see the sparkle in her eye and her animation. And in the interview, I think she was 95 years old. That's unbelievable. And hopefully you, when you see that, you'll understand what I say when Dottie Frazier
true legend of diving, and many other things too, is going to be very, very sorely missed. Not the least by Diana and myself, but by many, many divers and other friends all over the world. I wanted to take five minutes and mention this to you and encourage you to go and see that video of Dottie and get a feeling of how special she is, how special she was. That's it, guys. Alec Pierce, Vintage Diving.